Stanford won the toss, so Clemson's going to kick first. Stanford's already been through this now, as again, they prevailed over Seattle U in PKs. 1-1, so they've already done this, and we've already told you the history. Since 2008, they've been here eight times, the penalty kicks, and have prevailed every single time. Perhaps the only difference in that last round against Seattle is Stanford will try to do it here on the road. Now Clemson has made a change at goalkeeper. Yeah, Daniel Kazimka. Coming on from George Marks. Yep. So Stanford will kick first. Looks like Derek Waldeck is yeah, going to Waldeck step will step up. Full deck on the year, four goals, seven assists. Strikes it left foot and puts it to the left corner. Stanford draws first blood. And nicely done, Ed Kazimko going the other way. Kept his nerve, put it on the floor. Imbai will stride for Clemson. Nice penalty. Yeah, there's always that thing, are you more concerned with pace or are you more concerned with, with placement? Pace and placement helps. So Thomas will step in as he'll face Mbai. And Mbai will push it. Right side in. Puts it in the top right corner. This place fell silent when Clemson <laughs> was, was on the kick. Yeah, it gets a little quiet, doesn't it? Here's Balut. Watch the replay one more time. Thomas guessed right. Yeah, he did. They're just too tall for him. He did. Balut strikes it as he goes right side. So Stanford two for two. Robbie Robinson strides forward for Clemson. Skazemka guessed wrong. You're looking for your goalkeeper to, to give you one save, to give you a lifeline in a situation like this. Now how about this? How about the fact that Thomas is up there within three yards of Robbie Robinson as he takes the ball. If you don't think that this is about trying to get in between somebody's ears, you're sadly mistaken. Oh, it's the most important area, right? The six inches between the ears in a moment like this. Robinson blocked. Thomas saves. Robinson tried to go left side and Thomas got there. And you've got the captain. Here comes Beeson. Already a goal tonight. Big task here for Kazimka. And Beeson fires it in. It's 3 1. And he puts it right down the middle, doesn't he? Here is Adrian Nunez for Clemson. And this is this is a must-have. Got to have this. Yeah, from a psychological standpoint, you need to bounce back after the save. So again, Nunez.
strikes it. Ooh. And in, that got a piece of the hand of Thomas, but it went in. Just too much pace on it. He did get a hand to it, though. Tell you what, Thomas has guessed right every time so far. He's gone to the proper side where the ball is going. He got a hand to that one, but it still went in the net. It's the, the proper hand to it. Just too much pace on it. Here's the freshman, Buddha, trying to make it 4 2. Stanford here in penalty kicks. Buddha hits it oh high. He missed. And Clemson is alive. Well, you can tell Buddha just leaned back a little bit on that one. Was leaning back a little bit. You do that, it shot it high. So a big miss there for Stanford. See how he's leaning back? He doesn't quite get that ankle locked. James Brighton. Chance to tie it at three in penalty kicks. And Brighton does so. Oh my. Well, after tonight, it has to go to at least five, right, Don? <laughs> Maybe going beyond five. What time do you need to be in Charlotte tomorrow? Not for a while, my friend. And Poncho. So Poncho. Fifth kicker. And he strikes it low and left and finds the back corner of the net. That's Kazemka going the wrong way. Keeps it on frame. So Agron versus Thomas. Agron's got to have this to go to extra kickers. And Agron pushes it through. He puts it away. First time we've seen Thomas guess wrong side. Now we're going to go one for one. Mark Joshua will come forward. Redshirt junior, junior from Menlo Park, California. Clemson crowd in full throat. And it's pushed through and in. So Joshua does what he's supposed to do. Just keep it on frame. Give yourself a chance. Felipe Fernandez to keep it going. Fernandez is blocked, and Thomas saves it, and Stanford moves on to the final four. They are now 9-0 and in penalty kick situations since 2002 in NCAA tournament action. And Andrew Thomas does it again. His heroics. So a heartbreak for Clemson at home. And Stanford stays alive. They advance on to the College Cup. Well, maybe a little peek there by Fernandez to his left. Maybe tipped off Thomas just a tad. And he hasn't put that enough in the corner. It saves comfortably. 